So if you're in real estate and you've been trying to figure out Go High Level or you're just getting started with it and you know that it is a powerful tool but you're just not really sure how you can actually use it for your business, then this is the perfect video for you. Because Go High Level obviously has dozens of different features and you can do so many things with it and that can make it feel quite overwhelming. But if you're in real estate you don't need all of those features, there are just a few essential features that I recommend setting up and that's what I'll show you in this video. It includes some automation and if you're running ads, how you can implement that in Go High Level, whether you want to use this as your CRM or keep your current CRM, and also the funnels and just some other essential things that you need to know in order to start using Go High Level optimally for your real estate business. Now first, usually Go High Level is a 14 day free trial. If you want, you can claim an extended 30 day free trial through the link down in the description. So this is for if you haven't yet signed up. I do recommend signing up because then you can go and follow along. So again, I'll leave a link to this page down in the description where you can claim the extended 30 day free trial. Now Go High Level can literally run your entire business from capturing leads to following up and actually converting them. So now I'll go over the core features that I would set up if I were you. So we'll set up automations that follow up with new leads instantly by email, text, or even ring this voicemail. I'll show you how to create pipelines that track deals by property or stage and build appointment reminders that sync right to your calendar. I'll also show you how to auto tag leads based on property type or lead source, how to route Facebook and Google ad leads directly into your pipelines, and even how to automate your open house follow-ups so no lead ever slips through the cracks. By the end of this video, you will have a complete real estate system inside Go High Level, ready to start saving you hours every week. First, you will need to have your Go High Level sub account set up. To do that, just go to your agency account and click sub accounts in the left menu. And from there, go to create sub account. And here you can search for real estate. Currently, they have one for real estate agents and real estate brokers. If you wholesale real estate, for example, you will need to set up your own custom blank snapshot. But for example, I'll go with the real estate agent one since that's what most people in real estate do. And from here, you can then go and enter your business info. So you can just search for your address or add it manually. So just add all of these details and click add sub account. So once you've created the sub account, just gonna switch to it by clicking switch to sub account. Then the first thing that I would recommend doing is going to your opportunities right here. And from there, creating a pipeline that matches your real estate workflow. So they already have one right here. So this is specifically for real estate since we picked the real estate snapshot. So it's new lead, hot lead, new booking, visit attendance, sale and left a review. You can keep this or you can also create a new pipeline by going to pipelines right here and then clicking on create pipeline. And then here you can select the stages that you want. For example, new lead, contacted, appointment set, showing, offer made, and finally closed, they can give it a name and then just click create. So after you've created your own pipeline, you can then just switch to it in the top left by selecting it right here. So now we have our own pipeline. Now you can even create a separate pipeline for sellers with stages like new listing, photos taken, on market, offer received and sold. So you could have a buyer pipeline and a seller pipeline. I recommend keeping those two apart if you work with both. Now step two is very important, build your lead follow-up automation. So next we'll create your lead follow-up workflow. And this is where the real time savings begin. Just head over into automations and then here gonna create a workflow, although they do also already have a workflow list for you. So a new lead nurture is similar to what we are going to create, but you can just click create workflow. Then you can start from scratch. And then from here, you can gonna set a trigger. So whatever way you plan on getting people into Go High Level, it could be, for example, a form was submitted. So you can have a funnel with a form, you can have a website with a form. So you can select form submitted. But for example, if you run Facebook lead ads, you can just select a Facebook lead form submitted. You could also do a TikTok form submitted, a LinkedIn lead form submitted, or an external tracking event. I'll do a normal form submitted. And then here you can select which form, so form is, and then if you have a form, you can go and select it right here. And then you can add this as a trigger, but they have a bunch more triggers. So you could also just do when a new contact is created or when a customer booked an appointment, any of those will work. 
Now what you can also do is integrate with external apps such as Notion, Google Contacts, ClickUp or even more things. As you can see they have a bunch of them so maybe the tool that you use currently is in here and then whenever a new lead is created in the tool you can automatically have it come into your Go High Level account. But from there you want to go and select an action. So from here you can add for example an instant text message. So here under actions you can first for example create a contact. So let's say I want to create a contact right here. You can then add different fields. For example you can do their name. You can also add a custom field if you want. And then after you've created the contact you can for example add them to your pipeline. Or what you can do which I would recommend doing is sending them an SMS. So just select send SMS, now they have some templates right here, but you can also just write your own. And for example, if you go high, you can then click on this right here and then do user. And then for example, full name, first name, so hi, user, first name. And then for example, you just claim this offer, would you like to book an appointment, something like that. You can just go and send to them. But what they also have is you go back to workflows right here, you will find, as I just mentioned, the new lead nurture fast five, and this is quite similar. So when somebody claims an offer form or when somebody submits a Facebook lead form, a new opportunity is created in a new lead stage. Then they will be added to your long-term workflow and then conversational email is sent and you can read what that one looks like right here. And you can do the same with the SMS right here. Then wait for the reply. Then did the contact reply yes or no? Then you can do a call connect, you can do the opportunity in hot lead. So basically you can also just use this one and this is a very powerful workflow. Now step three is to auto tag and route your leads. So now that leads are coming in, you need to make sure they are automatically organized. So what you can do is go to your triggers, for example, the Facebook lead form submitted. And then here you want to set it to a specific Facebook lead form. So instead of any, you want to select it to a specific lead form or you can also do it with the normal form inside of Go High Level because you will probably have different forms, for example, for buyers and for sellers. And then you want to add a filter right here. So when somebody submits this specific lead form, you want to click plus right here and then add an action. And then you want to search for tag, and then add a contact tag. Then here just select a tag or create one, so for example in this case buyer, and then click add new tag for buyer. So when somebody submits one of these forms, which are my buyer forms, what I can then do is add the tag buyer to this person. So you want to add a contact tag, so that you can really easily just filter everyone, or you could even add more specific tags, such as came from Facebook, came from the funnel, whatever kind of tags are helpful for you. Or for example, you can also add a tag by property type, like luxury listing or rental. Or you can also do, as I mentioned, Facebook ad, Google or open house. Then set actions to assign leads to specific agents or pipelines based on those tags. So to do this, go back to workflows and then just click on create workflow, start from scratch. And then here you can do as a trigger when a tag is added. So here, contact tag. So choose a workflow trigger, the contact tag, then add filters, then select tag added. Then you can select which tag, so for example a buyer, and then that can be the trigger right here. And then from there you can for example assign this to one of your employees. So if you have an agent that is in charge of the buyer leads, what you can now do is assign this to a user. So go to assign to user right here as the action, and then select the user that this needs to be assigned to. Then they can log into their Go High Level account and see that a certain lead has been assigned to them. And they can then see that that lead is, for example, a buyer, someone that's looking to rent, someone that booked an open house, whatever you need to add. That way, Facebook buyer leads go to your buyer pipeline, seller leads go to your listing pipeline, and nobody has to manually sort them again. So this can again save you so much time. Now next, what you want to do is set up appointment reminders. So once you start booking calls or showings, appointment reminders are huge for reducing no-shows. So if you want to set this up, in the left menu, you just go to calendars and from there create a calendar. You can do this by going to calendar settings right here. And then they have multiple types of calendars. They also have a few already included right here. 
if you go to a new calendar, you can do personal bookings, class bookings, collective booking, or round robin. So if you have multiple team members, so multiple agents, select round robin. And if, for example, you want to set up a calendar for a showing, what you can then do is a single host with multiple participants. So you can then set a class booking. For now, I'll set a round robin. Then you can add a name and description, and you can select which team member should be here. They can set a custom URL. You can set a meeting duration and when people should be able to book in this calendar. Then what you can do is connect this to your personal calendar. So go to connections right here. And then from here you can click add new. And then you can set a calendar connection with Calendly, iCloud, Outlook or Google Calendar. Whichever one you personally use. And then whenever somebody books in a meeting with you, it will be added to your Google Calendar. Then if you go back to your automations right here, you will most likely already find a workflow that reminds them. So here are the appointment confirmation and reminders. So you can see this workflow is when an appointment is confirmed, so when somebody books an appointment, you can remove them from new lead, you can update the opportunity to booking stage. Now you may want to make this a little bit different if you created a custom pipeline. For example, I can change it to one and then here I can set it to appointment set. Now from there you can send an email. So this is the confirmation email. Hi, your appointment has been confirmed at appointment only start date, at start time, at appointment time zone. Then the next trigger is 24 hours before the appointment. There is another reminder email and another one one hour before the appointment as well as an SMS. But if they don't show up, you then have the appointment no-show right here. So right here, when appointment status is no-show, so you can change this, then reschedule the follow-up link, send an SMS, wait for a day, and send another SMS. Now, step five is to automate open house follow-ups. If you run open houses, this one is really a game changer. So what you can do is create a quick open house form in Go High Level to capture visitors' names, as well as their emails and what type of property they are looking for. Once they check in, trigger an automation that sends personalized follow-up. So to create a form, just go to Sites, click Forms, go to the Form Builder, and here you can now build a form that you can then add to your website or you can share it with people directly. You can also create, for example, a form inside of your Facebook lead ad and then have that connected into your Go High Level account. I created a full video on how you can actually integrate with Facebook lead ads. But basically you want to go to your settings and then in the left menu go to integrations and from here and you will then find facebook and instagram and you can then connect them right here from there you can then import it directly into your contacts you can also connect google right here if you run google ads and to automate review requests for example but then once you have done the open house you can then trigger an automation that sends a personalized follow-up Thanks for stopping by today, here are a few similar listings you might like. You can even route these contacts into a warm leads pipeline and set reminders for your next touchpoint. Now basically to do this, the key is again to add a tag. So when somebody submits the open house form, add a tag to them. For example, open house at this address can be the tag. And then from there you can send an automation to them once the open house has happened with the automated follow-up. Now step 6 is review and optimize your dashboard. So once everything is running, you can check your dashboards or reports tab weekly. You will be able to see how many leads are converting, which sources are performing best and where deals tend to get stuck in your pipeline. So you can switch the pipeline again right here to see your actual pipeline. Now you can also make small tweaks like adjusting delays or refining your text templates and that can dramatically improve your follow-up results. Now what you can also do with Go High Level, and this is just one other thing, again they have dozens of features, but you can go to sites and you can set a real estate offer. So you can see they already loaded this one because I selected the snapshot, but for example you can give away a free home valuation. They can run ads to that page on Facebook, and then from there you just give them a free home consultation if they enter their details, and then you can do a consultation appointment, a thank you page, and again, you can set up automations around this specific offer. So there will be a form in this offer that they need to fill out. They can add a tag, for example, the tag you can then add. 
could be, for example, free home valuation form. And then once you have that tag, you can set an automation with a reminder for yourself that you need to send them the home valuation. From there, you can then follow up with them and get them as one of your clients. So all of it just integrates really nicely. And I would recommend just starting with these features that I mentioned in this video. And from there, you can keep on expanding. So you can start using their marketing hub as your social planner. You can start using reputation management to collect reviews. But the basics and the real time savers and the stuff that get you more clients is what I showed you in this video. So most importantly, the automations where you just reach out to them instantly when they have submitted a form. So that's a complete go high level setup for your real estate business. You now have automated follow-ups, you know how you can add tags that actually help you organize things, you know how you can create a custom pipeline, and all of the basic features that you need to know in order to get started using Go High Level and actually getting value out of it. Again, you can claim the extended 30-day free trial through the link down in the description. If this video on how to use Go High Level for real estate agents was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.